This video is sponsored by Surfshark VPN. Hey guys and welcome to All About Linux. Today, I will be testing and comparing the CPU, GPU and RAM performance of two newly updated DEs, which stands for Desktop Environments, GNOME 40.0 and KDE Plasma 5.21. These new updates bring many features to enhance the user experience, but how will they fare in terms of performance? My test PC is sporting an AMD Ryzen 5 2400G CPU and AMD Radeon RX 590 with 8GB of GDDR5 VRAM and 16GB of DDR4 2666MHz RAM. I will be running Fedora 34 Beta for both these, and let's get into this test. Starting with a game of War Thunder, with the graphics settings set to 1080p and a high preset, GNOME scored an average frame rate of 91.6 fps, 1% loss of 58.5 fps, and 0.1% loss of 29.9 fps. KDE Plasma scored slightly better, with average frame rates at 101.5 fps, 1% loss at 58.6 fps, and 0.1% loss at 40.1 fps. Overall, KDE Plasma definitely wins this round. Next, I played a round of arms race for each version in CSGO. With the graphics settings set to 1080p auto, GNOME scored an average frame rate of 57.7 FPS, while 1% lows were at 28.3 FPS and 0.1% lows were at 15.5 FPS. KDE Plasma scored slightly better once again, with average frame rates at 64.2 FPS. 1% loss at 34.3 FPS and 0.1% loss at 24.5 FPS, allowing it to win this round too. In an online round of Trap Mania Nations Forever, a Windows game on GNOME, frame rates hover at around 85 to 100 FPS, while on KDE Plasma, frame rates hover at around 90 to 100 FPS. I think this was within the margin of error, so I will call this round a tie. Just look at this run I got though. It wasn't the most perfect but I'm really proud of it. By the way, if you like this video, do consider hitting that subscribe and like button. Next, I did some tests to find out about the RAM usage for each version. It should be noted that these RAM usages include that of the screen recorder, simple screen recorder. When idle, GNOME used ever so slightly more RAM than KDE Plasma, with RAM usages at 2.6GB and 2.5GB respectively. Opening the homepage of Firefox, which was the Fedora magazine for both these, RAM usages increased by 0.3GB on both of them to 2.9GB and 2.8GB respectively. Playing one of my previous videos, RAM usages increased by another 0.3GB on GNOME and another 0.2GB on KDE Plasma, ending a test at 3.2GB and 3.0GB respectively. KDE Plasma wins this round again. Finally, in the Gitmesh 5 test, KDE Plasma edged out GNOME again, scoring 10 points more in the single core test and 22 points in the multi core test. So, in conclusion, KDE Plasma 5.21 absolutely dominated GNOME 40.0 in this test, winning all the tests except for a tie in the Trackmania test. So, if you value performance, you should definitely go for KDE. However, I will personally stick to GNOME 40.0 due to the overall smoothness of animations, the aesthetically pleasing design of the GTK apps, and the new activities menu. 
but there is no denying that there are an unlimited number of possibilities when customizing KD and you will be able to tune each UI element to exactly the way you want it to be. In the end, you are the one choosing the DEs, not me. Now, I would like to talk about today's sponsor, Surfshark VPN. Surfshark VPN protects your privacy and security online and blocks geo-restricted content like certain Netflix libraries with features that is ultra-fast 3200 plus servers in 65 countries, industry-leading encryption, ad blocker, and many others. It works on an unlimited number of devices from Android and iOS to Windows, Mac OS, and Linux to Chrome and Firefox extensions. Best of all, you can get Surfshark VPN today for the first 3 months free, then 81% off for just $2.49 per month. Do head over to surfshark.deal slash all about Linux and get Surfshark today. Thanks to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. Do let me know if you have any suggestions for things or games to test in future videos. Okay, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I will see you all in the next video.